Snow Mo May. It's a popular trend aimed at protecting the blooms, bees, and other pollinators that need to thrive in springtime. Last year, the town of Rockland was the first to adopt the national movement here in Maine, and now Bangor is following suit. Our Caroline LaCour explains the rules. The concept for No Mow May is a simple one. Step away from the mower and let your lawn do the work. It's the newest initiative from the city of Bangor that's getting folks invested in helping pollinators. The idea is when you allow your lawn to grow in May, it can give bees and other pollinators the opportunity to feast on dandelions and other wildflowers before more flowers can get the chance to bloom. The city finally got the go ahead to ease lawn code enforcement after a city council vote back in February. For the entire month of May, the city is allowing folks to let their lawns grow taller than the 10 inches they're normally restricted to. There has been a bit of pushback due to concerns of an increase in ticks. I spoke with code enforcement director Jeff Wallace. He says the city reviewed a lot of research and none of it shows that longer grass can lead to an increase in ticks, but it does show a lot of benefits. Had some fabulous help from Anya Colette in our planning office who did uh, a lot of work around the research. It does work and it does help the bees. Um, so we uh, went forward with it. The city will also be providing yard signs for you to take advantage of to show your support of No Mo May. You can pick those up on the first floor of the city hall until they run out. In Bangor, Caroline LaCour, New Central Maine.